Hey there everyone, what's up? It's me again. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install Steam um, on a separate drive. So say if you have all your games already installed on another partition and you've made a new partition or you've upgraded and done a clean install and you have all your games on another hard drive or not in the standard Steam folder. So installing Steam you have to do it a separate way. We'll go ahead and choose a normal thing but we have to, we'll change the destination folder to our um, our other drive so we'll go to the drop down menu and I'll navigate to my steam drive so we got steam so we'll make a new folder and I'll call it steam new it doesn't really matter then we'll click OK and then install and that'll install it to the drive and once this is shouldn't take too long so now we're done and now Steam will come up and update the platform and I'll pause the video here so you don't have to watch through all this so now this is finished installing and I'll go ahead and log in um, you can add me on Steam um, my username is and I'll go ahead and type my password and for those of you who haven't you'll get a notification window like this and you have to go check your emails and get a verification code. So now that's in. Steam says working. And whoa. Okay. Steam just decided to. Okay, there we go. It just minimized everything, that's all. Now it'll connect your Steam account, but we want to exit out of this uh, before we continue. So to exit out of Steam, it's just go up here to Steam, and then exit, then wait for a little bit. Now we're going to go down to Windows Explorer, and navigate to where we have our games. If it, you're in C drive, or if you've installed it on your local drive, so that's drive C, it'll be in C, Program Files, and then Steam, and then Steam Apps. So for my case, I installed my old Steam in here. Now we're going to have a look at this folder here called Steam Apps. Now this is all of your Steam games but in the Steam um, f like file that Steam reads so it's not fully a XE file so let's go ahead and copy that for now and we'll go over to Steam New and we'll see the Steam apps here, it's already there because it's a fresh install of Steam but there's nothing in there so we'll go ahead and paste it preparing to copy it should Actually, you know what? I'm just going to go and paste it because that's a lot quicker than copying. I've got I'm running Windows 8 release preview. So, copy and then we'll say move and replace. I know all my games are in here. So now I'm going to go ahead and start up Steam. It should Now, it might not notice it like as you start up Steam, it'll You'll still have to physically install the, the thing, the the games. But now if we go to library, saying download pause and they should stop either that or I have a the updates. But uh, let's try yeah, let's try COD. That'll just say completing installation and it'll go ahead and install and verify everything that's worked, it shouldn't take too long because it's already installed. And code opens. Now you'll probably just see a black screen here, so sorry about that if you don't. Good for you. So once again, um, thank you for watching, and please subscribe for more tech and computer videos. Just a quick second guys, I've noticed here that there's a new update for Steam or something, so you, you, this might be because of I might be because of me changing it, but I'm not sure. So it'll just let it through that, let it run through that, and then all should be well. Once again, thank you for watching, and please like, favorite, and comment on this video, and have a nice day.